How's it going with y'all? We got another game here against Molo692, and I believe this is a UU game. And as you can see, I am using a layout today. And by the way, I really hope you guys liked my intro. I made it all myself. But anyways, I am going to lead off with a Minetric, and he's going to lead off with a Venomoth. And this thing is choice specs, and it's missed out because it's level 92, which kind of sucks. But I am just going to go for the Volt Switch just to get the hell out of there. And I'm going to go into my Ridge Rock just to take the... I didn't even know that thing could learn to sleep out of wow I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. But he is just gonna go for the quiv dance and I try to wake up but I don't, which kinda sucks. But yeah, you just gotta deal with it. But anyways, I'm gonna go into my Mega Man. I'm not really too scared of that thing because I do carry the sucker punch on this thing. So he goes for the second quiv dance and I believe or no, I actually misclick right here because I don't really know. I go for the iron head instead, but thank god is like He's got the wrong HP. I think it was like HP Ice or something. It was supposed to be like HP Ground or something. I don't know. But he sent in his Clink Clang. And <clears throat> I am going to go into my Slowbro. And I know I can take an Hedge. He goes for the check. I don't know why. But he can't really do much to my Slowbro. And I'm going to go for the Fire Blast. Just, yeah, it does like nothing to that Melodic. So I am going to go for the Toxic this turn as he Toxics me. Which kind of sucks. But. I go for the Chalk on that thing, and yeah, that's all cool. I believe I go for the Skull, predicting a switch, and he goes into his Moltres, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's that prediction works out perfectly, because he goes into his Moltres, and that Skull is got to do a lot. So yeah, that's really awesome. But I believe he goes for the Air Slash this upcoming turn, and it's got to do a lot, but I can't really remember. I think it, yeah, he gets a flinch, which really sucks because I probably could have 2 2 uh, would him. Yeah, I would have always 2 k him. That really sucked, and I probably should have switched out right here because I do have the regeneration and poison damage would have been resetted, but I don't really know what I was thinking. But I, I should probably went into my Sawsbuck right here and just kill it off because my Sawsbuck is choice scarf. But I just decided to try and wake up my Red Rock. So right here just goes for some HP, I don't know what kind of hidden power that was. But I try and wake up my Ridge Rock, I believe I wake up this upcoming turn. Yeah, I think I wake up this turn, and I set up my Stealth Rocks, which is awesome. But, <clears throat> I set up my Stealth Rocks, and I believe I go for the Drain Punch right here, predicting his um, Clank Clank Switch, predicting me to go for the Stone Edge. But he just stays in with his Moltres, and... I of course get the burn body, which or the flame body, which kind of sucks, but it didn't really matter in the long run. Anyways, um, at least I don't think so. But anyways, I'm gonna go for the stone edge this upcoming turn, as he goes for the fire blast, which won't do anything to my freaking red rock. But he does end up getting a crit, which I don't think matter in the long run. He probably could have just revenge killed me with something. I don't really know. But anyways, I'm gonna go for the stone edge just to take him out, which is awesome. So I get yeah, I, I die to burn damage. Anyways, so. I, I don't get switched in initiative, which kind of sucks, but yeah, you just get to deal with it. But I probably uh, could have sent, would have sent in my freaking Sawsbuck, anyways. But yeah, I go for the jump pick, uh, jump kick right here, and it does a good chunk to that freaking clang clang or clang clang. What a terrible name! But <clears throat> I probably should have stayed in again, just go just go for the uh, what's it called jump kick again. But I didn't really want to risk him outspeeding me. Because it's at plus two and I'm only plus one with my choice scarf. But I know that thing is slow as hell, but I didn't really want to risk it. But anyways, I'm just gonna fire out my magneton. I almost said magneton. Um mana trick and I'm just gonna die to a gear grind. So I'm gonna send in um, my Avenus right here and I know this thing is OU. I didn't really know at that time. I probably should have sent in or I probably should have brought Torterra instead and an earthquake from a Torterra would have killed regardless um, if it was a Venusaur or a Torterra. So, anyways, I'm gonna go into my Sawsbuck right here. He goes for the Sleep Powder, and I get my Sap Zipper. And for some odd ass reason, um, yeah, I go for the Mega Horn again. Uh, I don't really, I don't really know why he went for the Sleep Powder. Um, and I get my Sap Zipper twice, which is really awesome. So I'm gonna go for the Mega Horn again, and look at this. It does a fuckload to that freaking. Melodic, and even though he's got the Marvel scale, it does a fuckload, man. And I am just gonna 2 k him with that, um, with that freaking Megahorn. And right here, I'll make kind of a 
weird play. I probably should have stayed in Mega Horn again. But I didn't want to get an Ice Shard. I didn't w really want to get Ice Shard in the face. That was a bad play because he's got to go for the Sword Stance. I probably should have Mega Horde again. I didn't want to get hit by an Ice Shard, but I didn't really want to risk missing either. So I go for the Sucker Punch because that was a bad play as well because I probably could have just Iron Hand the thing and kill it off. But I don't really know. He is just going to go for the Brick uh, brick, brick, and just take me out. And I go into my Saws Buck and I go for the Giant Kick. Jump kick, jump kick, and of course I miss, which really sucks. That cost me the game right here, because he is gonna finish me off with the ice punch, and he didn't actually carry the ice shard, which is kind of weird. But yeah, so I I do just run right here because I know it's just game over. So that was a good game, Wooly Six Nine Two. I recommend you guys go check him out. He makes awesome videos, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give a like for the intro and the freaking layout. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and peace out.